Hi, I am George Poulinat, in this video we will install Isinger 2 and Isinger Web 2 on CentOS 7. Before you start installation, make sure you have LAMP stack already set up, if not please follow the prerequisite video given in the description of this video and set up LAMP stack. What is Isinger? Isinger is a scalable and extensible monitoring system which checks the availability of your resources, notifies users of outages and provides extensive BI data. Isinger is a fork of Najos, which means you get all the features of Najos plus more awesome features, like high availability clusters and distributed monitoring. Did I mention Isinger is open source and is completely free? Please visit www.isinger.org to learn more about Isinger and its features. Now, without further ado we will start the installation. We will connect to our CentOS 7 server with Apache, MySQL 5.7 and PHP installed. First thing we have to make sure is we have an entry for our local host in slash etc slash hosts file. In our case, Host name is Najos1 and IP is 192.168.7.91. Next we have to make sure that SE Linux is set as permissive. If not, change it in slash etc slash SE Linux slash config file. Once the change is made, we have to reboot the server for the new change to take into effect. Once the server is rebooted, we will connect again. Next we make sure network time synchronization is set up. Start NTPD by issuing, system CTL start NTPD. Also make sure NTPD starts at system reboot, by issuing system CTL enable NTPD. Verify network time synchronization is working by issuing. NTPQ-P Now, we will clear our screen and set time zone in php.ini file. To do that, open php.ini file located under, slash etc. Then look for date.time zone parameter. In my case it is America slash Denver. Save and close the file. Now, we will install this package php-ldap, by issuing command, yum install php-ldap. This package is required for Isinger Web 2. We are all set to start the installation of Isinger 2 and Isinger Web 2. To do that we have to first install Isinger yum repository. This is available from packages.isinger.org. To install yum repository we use rpm-i and then the web link to the RPM. A link to this package is given in the description of this video, or you can find it in the download section of isinger.org webpage. Now we make sure, yum repository is installed correctly by ls-l, slash etc-yum.repose.d, and look for isinger-release and snapshot.repo files. We will start the installation of Isinger by typing, yum, install, Isinger 2, then hit enter. This will first check for dependencies, then download necessary packages and will prompt for your permission to download and install the packages. At the prompt type Y and hit enter. To verify GPG key, type Y and hit enter. Once the Isinger 2 installation is complete, we will first make sure Isinger 2 will start at system reboot. This is done by issuing system CTL enable Isinger 2. Then we start the Isinger 2, by issuing system CTL start Isinger 2. Now, we can check the status of Isinger 2 by issuing system CTL status Isinger 2. Looks like Isinger 2 and all the processes are up and running. We will now configure my SQL IDO module. The DB, IDO. Database Isinger Data Output Modules for Isinger 2 take care of exporting all configuration and status information into a database. But, before doing that, we will connect to our MySQL database and create a database called Isinger. Then create a user called Isinger to access the database. Make sure the user Isinger has select, insert, update, delete, drop, create view 
index and execute permissions on the database iSinger. Since, I am using my SQL 5.7 it want me to have a more complex password, I will put an uppercase and a special character, this time it took my password, we flush privileges and will exit my SQL. We will now install IDEO module, this is done by issuing, yum install, icing a 2-ido-mysql and hit enter. Once the installation of IDEO module is complete, we will see that it will create a mysql.sql script under user, share, icing a 2-ido-mysql slash schema directory. We will use this script to create database objects. To do that, we type mysql u space root dash p space icinger, and direct the script to it, using a less than sign. What this will do is, log in as root to mysql database and create objects in icinger database. Oops, I typed the wrong password. We will enter the root password at the prompt. Now, we will verify that all the MySQL database objects required for IDEO module is created under iSinger database, using PHP MyAdmin. We will now configure the connectivity to this iSinger database by editing IDEO-MySQL.conf file. This file is located under slash etc slash iSinger 2 slash features dash available. We open the file in a text editor. Then uncomment the lines for connection information, as shown in the screen. Make sure we have the correct username, password, host information, in our case it's local host, and database name. Then save and close the file. We can now enable the IDEO module in iSinger 2, to check all the features available, at the command prompt, type iSinger 2 feature list and hit enter. We can see that IDEO-MySQL is already enabled. If it's disabled for some reason, you can enable it by typing, icing a 2, feature, enable, IDEO-MySQL, then hit enter. Now we will enable another feature called command. This is done by typing, icing a 2, feature, enable command, then hit enter. Issue. Icing a 2 feature list to verify if command feature is enabled. As you can see both command and IDEO-MySQL is available in enabled features section. Then we will restart Icing a 2 process to load the new features. This is done by issuing system CTL restart Icing a 2. Now we will install Icing a Web 2 and Icing a CLI. To do that we will issue yum install. Icing a web 2 space icing a CLI, then hit enter to start the installation. At this point yum will resolve dependencies and will prompt us, is it ok to download and install those packages. We will give permission to yum by typing, y and hit enter. The installation will happen in couple of minutes. This depend on how fast your system is. Looks like our installation is complete. From this point we will continue rest of our installation using icing a web to interface. But before doing that we have to give our Apache web server permissions on etc slash icing a web to directory. To do that we issue the command chcon dash capital R dash T http underbar sys underbar rw underbar content underbar t space etc slash icinger web 2 then hit enter after that we restart our apache web server using system ctl restart httpd now we open a web browser and type in web address to icing a 2 web console. In our case it is, http colon slash slash 192.168.7.91 forward slash icing a web 2 forward slash setup, then hit enter. Once we are at the welcome page, it will ask us to generate and provide a security token. The instruction to do that is given in the welcome page itself. We have to make sure a group called icing a web to exist, then make Apache user is a member of that group.
we get back to our command prompt and issue the commands given in the instruction. Since, we have icing a CLI installed, we will issue command, icing a CLI, setup, config, directory, dash dash group, icing a web 2, then hit enter. Looks like our configuration directory is successfully created. Now, we will generate the security token. To do this we issue the command icing a CLI, setup, token, create, and hit enter. You can see the newly generated token highlighted in my screen. Copy this token and paste it at the icing a web 2 setup interface. Now click the next button. For our installation we just make sure monitoring module is selected. You have the option to choose documentation and translation module. We will skip those two for now, then click next. This page will check that your server meets all the requirements for icing a web 2. If any of the requirements are not met, you will have to fix that before continuing installation. In our case we passed all the requirement checks. So, we click the next button. In this page we will choose database as our authentication type from the drop down. Then click next. Here we have to configure our database. This will create a new database for Isinger Web 2. Our database name is Isinger Web. Our username will be Isinger Web. Then we provide a password. Make sure the password meets my SQL 5.7 password requirement. Then I will choose UTF-8 as character set. Click on the validate configuration button to validate the database information we provided. Once successfully validated, Click the next button. In this page we will provide a privileged MySQL user like root. Icing a web 2 setup will log in as this user and will create database icing a web database that we provided in previous screen. We type in username as root, then password for MySQL user root. Then click next. In this screen, we will leave our authentication backend name the default which is icing a web 2 then click the next button in this page we have to enter admin username and password this is the administration user for icing a web 2 we give the username admin then the password then click next in this page we configure logging levels and where it's stored also application prefix we can leave everything default then click the next button this page will give a summary of your configuration. If everything looks good, click on the next button. Now we will begin configuration of monitoring module for Isinger Web 2. This is the core of Isinger Web 2. Click next to start the configuration. In this page we have to enter the backend. This will be the IDO module. We have already installed the IDO module in earlier steps. Click next button. In this page we will fill out the connection details to access IDO database. Our database is in local server. The database name is Isinger. Username to access the database is also Isinger. Then the password for the user Isinger. This information is same as information on IDO-MySQL.conf file, which is located at slash etc slash Isinger 2 slash features available directory. We will enter the character set as UTF-8. Then we will validate the configuration by clicking validate configuration button. It will now connect to database and validate. Once validation is successful click on the next button. In this window you can configure how you want to send commands to monitoring instance. We will leave everything default. Click on the next button. In this screen we will leave everything as is. And click next button. This page will give us summary of our configuration. Review everything. Then click the finish button to perform the final installation. Looks like our Isinger Web 2 has been successfully set up. Please review the logs for any errors. Now click on the log into Isinger Web 2 link. This will take you to the Isinger Web 2 login screen. The username to login is admin. 
then we type in the password, then click on the login button. The first screen you will see is your dashboard. You will see that, I have lot of service problems. It is complaining it cannot find Nagios plugins. To fix this we will install Nagios plugins manually. To do that, at the command prompt we will issue a command, yum install, Nagios dash plugins dash all. Then hit enter. This will resolve and download dependencies. Then we'll start the install. Once the installation is complete, we will get back to our Isinger Web 2 dashboard. Now, you can see each services are switching from unknown state to OK. Now if you want to manually run a service check, Click on the service. Then click on the check button. Chances are you will see this HTTP403 error. To resolve this error you have to create an index.html file at slash var slash www slash html directory. In the command prompt, type touch slash var slash www slash html slash index dot html then hit enter then restart your icing a 2 server by system ctl restart icing a 2 then restart your apache web server by system ctl restart httpd now we get back to our icing a web 2 dashboard then do a manual check of that service as you can see the status of the check is okay now we have one more issue this is a disk critical alert for gvfs file system this is because i am running this on vmware and icing cannot read that vmware file system for now we will ignore that alert i will show how to fix that in a later video so in this video we have successfully installed production quality icing a monitoring system. Look for my next videos, that will demonstrate different features of icing. Also we will demonstrate different ways to monitor both Windows and Linux servers using icing. Thank you for watching.